Hello everyone, this is Pilpo. Welcome to the More the Odds Mod Pack Spotlight. So this is going to be a slightly different video to what I normally do, but More the Odds is a pack that's brought to us by the ATM team. One of the members from the ATM team. So we've covered a few packs in the past, such as all the mods Gravitas and Gravitas 2. And there's all of the different side packs as well that the ATM team comes out with. So they're quite a large team from what I can tell. And um, yeah, this pack was actually sent to me by What the Drunk, the uh, I think the lead developer for the all the mods like team. And uh, he said, I might want to check it out. This pack is funny because it's the like all of the other mods. I think it should have been called all the other mods, in my opinion. Or the other mods one or whatever so this uh, is like the opposite of all the mods nine right now so any mod that's in all the mods nine is not going to be in this so let, let's just hop in cursed mode i didn't even know i put that on okay um i'm gonna create a brand new world i did create one world just to see what it'd be like and i changed a couple of settings so i will go over that but when we're in the world, I'll go find somewhere to hide and then we'll look through JEI and we'll sort of talk about the pack a little bit. Maybe we go and do an, a, a little bit of adventure. So, uh, allow cheats. I'm going to put on. <laughs> we're definitely going to put that on. Yeah, just all generic and stuff. I don't see where it said uh, about that curse thing. But anyway, there we go. We're going to hop in, see what happens. And here we are. We are in. I'm not going to lie, this is actually the second time <laughs> that I've done this, because the first time we got the worst spawn in the world, we're in like an ice place. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll play you a few clips. This is the worst spawn ever, <laughs> what the heck? What? Okay. Is that a seal? Alex's mobs. <laughs> uh, okay, and then there's a massive whale right there. Amulet. Let's put that on. Oh my... Why do you do this? I'm not going to lie. I, I I think I pooed a little. Yeah, that was the worst. So, anyway, here we are. I um I did do a few bits. So, first things first, I moved the map. So, if you open up the map, you actually have to rebind that. Go to options, controls, key binds, and then key M. And for me, there was another one on M. But you want open world map to be M, in my opinion. And the other one was like open claim map. So we can actually, we, we can get some wood here. Yay. And there's this like really odd block breaking. Oh, and it does the thing where it, it like, so these aren't just entities when you chuck them on the ground like that. They do turn into like actual blocks that fall on the ground. I quite like that, to be fair. <gasps> Some crabs. Coconut crab. What the actual heck? He's having a go at me. What do I do to you? He's doing a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> Flipping heck, running away. Maybe this was the worst spawn. Oh, I just got chanced right there by a uh, flipping hermit crab. Anyway, um, at least this is quite nice around here. So we can... He's after me again. Do you sod off? Yeah, he is, isn't he? Uh, there you go. Can't get me now. <laughs> Can't believe I'm running away from a flipping crab. Anyway, um, this, uh, oh yeah, I was looking up a few mods that are in this. So this pack is, as I said, this has got all of the different mods that aren't in all the mods nine. So uh, you'll see here, we've got Alex's mobs right there. We've got the Forgotten Dimensions. I've not heard of this one, if I'm honest. We, we've we actually got the One Probe, which um, you don't actually need this, the readme. Uh, okay change to whatever you need uh, because you can do slash the one pro and then config I knew about that one because this is what we always used to have that's when you're looking at stuff like that right it says at the top there what this was originally set to oh that's not it is uh, if we go back to the one probe config this was originally set over here I think it was like that and then default style the map was over here to begin with, so I had to change that, but that's fine, I suppose. Fully transparent, and I stuck it in the middle there. So if you are playing this pack, that's probably a good thing to do. Uh, you'll notice that everything's got EMC because... Was that a coconut? That was a coconut, brilliant. 
sorry. Um, everything's got EMC because if we go down to, I think it's around here. There we go. Project E is in the pack. Personally, not a massive fan of Project E, but if you like a bit of Project E, then this is probably a good pack for you to pick up. It's also very chance-based. More the odds. You know, that's, that's to do with all of the odds and everything, right? So, oh, hello. What's this one? Runic Grimoire. First edition. Interesting. Okay, so this must be like soccer ding, the gems and stuff. I'm going to try not to say... Oh, you know what? I'm just going to say it. It That sounds like an apotheosis thing to me right there, like an alternative to apotheosis. It's always good to have competition, in my opinion. So I'm actually quite glad that a few of these other mods are getting a little bit of recognition here. That sounded horrible. What? Oh, okay. So there's another coconut crab that you can't get to me. Good. Get away. Should probably make a, uh, a quickie. Yeah, there we go. Challenge complete. Six million download. What? Okay. <laughs> what was that? Okay. I didn't do that, I don't think. But okay, whatevs. Look in here. Oh, I did do that. Okay. Ring of the Seven Curses. Once forged. Uh, once worn, it becomes part of you. This ring will persist forever. Oh, this is the um, legacy thing. Okay, cool. Armor is 30% less. Oh my goodness, right. Anyway, we're not going to look at that right now. Um, I was looking through all of these, wasn't I? Damn it. So yeah, there's a bunch of mods in here. So there's like uh, Project E. That's not in all the mods 9, but it's, it's in this one. There's a lot of mods that are... Very, um, how do I say, uh, chance-based. I'm not talking about the, the crabs right here, the, the little coconut crabs. But I mean, like, they're, they're very chance-based when it comes to, like, there's chance cubes, things like that. So, keep that in mind. I wonder if I should just punch this dude away. Because I don't have access to a weapon right now. I could run away, I suppose, bravely run away. Let's do that. I'm going to grab this uh, coconut as well on our way. Ah, running. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, lots of chance based stuff in this pack. We've got chance cubes. We've got like the loot bags and stuff. So, that is not. Okay, that is not a, uh, a dolphin. I thought that was a dolphin then. Got lots of aqua, like underwater stuff by the looks of it. There's lots of those. Uh, I should probably pick up some of these as well. What, what are these used for? Sandcastle. Oh, okay. Seashell block. Okay, not much. That's good to know. Let's put that back down now. <laughs> for now, at least. Ooh, food. Food. That's something we could always do, do with right there. There's chalk right there. Okay, that's not food. Okay, so there's no um, biomes of plenty or um, oh the biomes you'll go in this. By the looks of it, this is it was something to do with uh, oh when we look at these regions unexplored. That's the name of the uh, the extra biomes mod that we've got installed right now. Cyclics in this actually that's funny because cyclic. Uh, apparently is one of those mods that the ATM team said that they would never put in all the mods, which is fair enough. If, if they don't want to use it, then uh, that's fair. But, ah, this is the stinky fruit. Oh, it's Pam, Pam's Harvest Craft 2's in this. Interesting. Yes, because we've got Croptopia in all the mods 9. Basically, what I'm trying to say is a lot of these mods are uh, not well. If not all of these mods aren't in all the mods 9. Although I will say that this, I know it says EMI. JEI is also installed. I don't know why, but a lot of the JEI stuff is installed. And I will just also mention that this is flipping quick. Like clicking on any of these. Look how quick it is to like pick up a recipe when you are pressing R. That's just insanely quick. Look at how quick it is. I swear it's not that... Oh. I mean to do that. I swear it's not this quick normally in all the mods at least. Oh, it just feels really nice to do that. Anyway, 
yeah, we've got loads of different mods. Um, there's like, uh, where is it? Uh, I was trying to find the the weaponed one where there's loads of different weapons. I've seen that one before, but I thought it was a fabric mod. Oh, we've got the the useful backpacks. This used to be the the backpack mod that everyone would to use. I might actually pop into creative at some point and we'll just have a look, pick up a couple of these things. I'm just grabbing a few bits of food. Okie dokie. So, yes, great. I'm going to go over. No, I'm not. Is that a pillager? That is pillager. Okay, it's a pillager outpost thingy. Fine. We're not going to do that then. We'll go this direction. I should probably just like tunnel in a little bit. Have we got, yeah, we've got a decent amount of food. Let's just tunnel in. I'm not a massive fan of that, where it... Oh, actually, we need a bit more wood, don't we? So, there's no vein miner, I just realised. Okay, I I always put my vein mine on F, but I know it's not normally F. So, let's try it with the normal button, which is next to the one key. Doesn't look like that's a thing either. What the heck is that? And there's a witch right there. What? Okay, what did that say? Are you going to attack? Or are you my, my witch? It's time you figure out how to connect to the spooky dimension and bring familiars back to the living world. It is said that when a pillar of three oak logs on top of a crying obsidian is lit ablaze, a witch staff will be created. That witch staff can be used to on a living creature. If they have a compatible soul, it will be absorbed. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, let's let's get a bit more logs. I don't know what this dude's doing, but it's making some weird noises. Whatever he's doing. Uh, we've already got a crafting table. There, there is crafting on a stick, I believe. There is interesting. Right, I'm going to just go in here and then make ourselves a quick, quickie pickaxe, as it were. What the heck is this? Balanced empty grid. Okay. What is that noise that is just disturbing? Very disturbing. Okay, I'm going to block myself in so I can't see anything, but that's fine. Did I leave my... I Oh, no, no, I've got it right here. Crafting on a stick. Oh, man. This has got this pack has got a little bit of no chill. I can't really see anything. You guys probably can't see anything. I can't see anything. Actually, that's a point. Usually, I put this on... Brightness high. Not because um, I'm a scaredy cat. I mean, there is that, but it's not because of that. It's because then you guys can see a little bit more. Well, they're saying that. I didn't... I, I turned on my logs, didn't I? So, oh, my goodness. What the actual heck is that noise? Okay, they did a lot of damage to me right there. Anyway, what I was trying to say earlier is... Uh, We've got something called relics, which is a little bit like artifacts. We've got useful weaponry, which is... Uh, where's all the swords and stuff that look amazing? Uh, is it this one? I don't think it's this one. There's another one somewhere. You get, like, diamond battle axes and stuff like that. Diamond halberd. Aha! We've got it. Here it is. So, this is simple swords, and it comes with a bunch of different weaponry. And they all look amazing. We've also got this thing where, um, I don't know if you can see me that well right here, but you can, uh, it's hard to show. I think you have to be, to maybe use a sword or something, but when you attack, it, it does like a sweeping motion. You saw it a minute ago, right? I'll show you it here, actually. Okay, if we can hit the... No, we can't. Damn it. But you saw that at least, right? So that goes really well with, like, the Simply Swords thing. And there's some, like, beastly looking stuff in here. Stormbringer. Anyway, the main one in here is Chance... 
cubes. So we've got chance cubes right here, which you can actually make in this pack. Interesting. Maybe we should try and make a chance cube and just chance it. See what we can get. Okay, whilst I'm in search of lapis, I should probably uh, point out that there's another thing, which is... I am going to quickly turn the sound down, I think, so we don't hear that over and over. I don't know what it is, but it is making a lot of noise. Anyway, if you press U, you've actually got a Enigmatica Legacy, and I think this is like a questing thing. So, finish another quest, complete Enigmatica Legacy. The ring is calling your name, click to complete. It looks like we've already completed it. No, in progress, apparently. Okay, that's odd. Um, start here. Tasks. Ah, that's how you do it. Okay, and then claim rewards. What do we get? Okay, we get this thing, the acknowledgement. Okay, what is this again? This is... Uh, uh, I think this is for the... Enigmatica Legacy mod. Okie dokie. So if we have a look in here, we probably could have clicked on this thing over here. I was clicking on the entire bar thinking that was uh, the, the whole point of it, but it doesn't look like that's the thing. So Spellstones. Complete Elemental Might. Spellstone. Okay. Let's have a look at that. Elemental Might. Is that a thing in here? Tempest? No. Uh, that might be another quest, actually, thinking about it. Rings, scrolls, weapons, feral hunt, guides and tomes. Write your guide in here. Acquire a book. Okay. Once we get a book, I think that does it. This is a different thing to um, the FTB quests. And I like that. I like that there's a little difference right there. Iron ring. Okay, we can do that. Iron ring. That is not too bad. Okay, once we find some iron, which we still haven't, um, we can actually have a look at that. But yeah, I thought it was kind of cool that there was uh, like a different questing thing. There's also, obviously we got curios, which I know is in all the mods 9, but I think it's still worth looking at. We got a plus 25% swimming speed. That's pretty good, actually. And it's engraved to me. And this one here, I can't take this one off, but it says I got plus one in looting level, plus one in fortune. 400 experience dropped. So that's pretty good, I think. Okay. Seven blessings will reward those who withstand. Okay. Plus 10% power in an enchanting table. Unique drops from some creatures. Functionality of the Ring of Ender. Okay, can create and use unique relics. Interesting. So I think the Ring of Ender is this thing where you can open up your Ender chest wherever you are in the world. You've just got it on you at all times. So we can literally put like a bunch of stuff in here if we wanted. I'm sorry that you still can't see anything. I haven't found any any coal yet. And um, this is now broken. It just says broken. Okay. I don't know if we could fix that, but I don't know if we want to fix that. So, Zycraft is in here. Zycraft was in um, all the mods 8. It's actually a really cool mod, in my opinion, because you get all of the really nice looking blocks. And I believe it's made by Sauron from uh, back in the day with Direwolf 20. I remember Sauron. Inert crystal. Okay, that's not what we want. Um, Elemental Craft is in this pack. Um, those of you that watch my All The Mods 8 series will know that I'm not a massive fan of <laughs> of Elemental Craft. It's the same as, like, it's the same thing with, like, Blood Magic. I'm not a big fan of Blood Magic. I'll do it if I have to, but if I don't have to, I won't. There is a chance cube right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. There is a chance cube. I'm just going to do it. Why not? Is that a... Okay. Okay, we got some diamond leggings out of that. That's pretty good. And some iron boots. And a creeper head. Brilliant. 
Wow. That, that was pretty good, actually. That's not too bad. Did we get, like, a weapon or anything? No, we didn't. All right, let's do that again. That has turned into... It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And diamonds. More diamonds. What? Okay. I feel like that just turned into stuff. Anyway, we're going to dig around this a little bit. Some tin ore right there. There's another one right there. We're, we're just going to chance it again, I think, when we can. Um, I don't know if that did anything. Oh, we got a stick. Big stick, and it's got sharpness 5 on it. That's pretty good. When we can remove enchants that'd be really good anyway that's the kind of thing that i was looking at is like uh you can do chance cubes i'm not really a big gambler myself so yeah the chance cubes is kind of not my thing i don't think but i'll give it a go why not and that is really cool that you can just repair that because if i ran out of sticks doesn't matter because we got this coal yes please we got coal we can use some sticks and coal, get some uh, torches. Finally, you guys can see what I'm doing. Eh, there we go. Oh, oh, amazing. There was some chance cubes here, I swear. So I was just mining and I found some mini utilities, ender ore. And I love this. <laughs> I always find that ender pearls are a right pain in the bum at the beginning of a pack, right? So. Having the ability to mine them, that might be a little bit OP to be fair, thinking about it. Because that's one of the hurdles you have to get over, right? Is, uh, is like actually getting ender pearls and getting a good sustainable source of it. So, I don't know. I like that though. I, I think that was, uh, that was pretty cool. You'll notice that my inventory is quite empty right now. Uh, that is because I put it all in my ender chest. <laughs> for now i still have yet to find any iron so but the good news is we are on white level zero and according to this lapis ore apparently the best place you'll find it is y level zero so that's where we are and then it's zero percent chance from like 72 onwards or 60 70 onwards it looks like and basically anything below this y0 is uh the perfect place although we've only got stone pickaxe we haven't got any iron or anything and i don't think we can make like a tin pickaxe or a copper pickaxe right copper pick how oh, you can you can make a copper pickaxe never mind you can make a super copper pickaxe which is different. That looks like, is that just, okay, super copper. That is a lot right there. <laughs> Never mind, we're not, we're not gonna be doing that. Oh, but it says down here you can, cyclic. Okay, right, we are then. Flipping egg, right. Let's do one of those. And I'm just gonna dig into here, and get ourselves a copper pickaxe real quick. Um, wait, do we, yeah, we do have some coal. I'm actually going to be good and make some, oh, you're kidding me. Coal nuggets. Oh, okay, coal nuggets you can, you can use like that. Fine. I, I thought these were something else then. <laughs> no, they're all good. Enderman pet. That looks so cute. Spider pet. Okay, all these pets look really cute. If we can find some gold, maybe we'll make one of these. Cow pet. What's that? Dubstep pet. Brilliant. <laughs> uh. Black hole pet. With a pet. Wow. Fine. Anyway, so now we've got this, we can grab some more sticks. Get ourselves a copper pickaxe real quick. And then that should make everything go a little quicker, I hope. It's probably got a really bad durability, right? But still better than, yeah, it's way better than the uh, the stone pickaxe we had. Right, I've been mining for a little while now, and I found a few bits. So, Zombie Extreme, at 
Zombie Extreme. Wow, this mod is very involved. What the actual heck is this? Modern Love. Love it. <laughs> oh, the Modern Axe. Isn't that from... I feel like Modern Axe. Where have I heard that from? The Forest. I think that's a forest thing. Uh, there's a game called The Forest. Anyway. Um, yeah, this thing looks really involved. Like, you've got hazmat suits. You've got exo helmet and, like, combat helmet, which comes from steel ingots. Infested steel ingot, acid bottle. Or you can smell a raw steel. That's what we got. We got the raw steel. That's where I started looking into this mod. It looks insane. Toolbox. It looks really cool. I like it. So, katana. What? Steel plates. Blueprint. Rare. You can find that in loot crates. Or loot chests, I should say. Wow. Okay. Anyway, the whole reason that I'm here right now is because there was a chance cube. Time to farm. Oh, thank you. And we got a bucket out of it. That's good. Uh, is there another one around here? Yeah, there's a few. Oh, finally, we found a cave. Brilliant. Oh, redstone. No, that's not redstone. Zycraft. Nickel. More Zycraft. Ah, so I tried to mine this earlier. I think we might need an iron pickaxe. I did find some iron, by the way. It's quite useful. Thorium. And then we can use that to make one of these rods. Good old rod. I don't know why, but yes, we'd need to do that. Boss fight. Oh dear. Is it a chicken? Mimic. Oh. Okay, that was good. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, please, please leave me alone. Why have you got such high health? I suck at doing the crits. Oh, he insta-killed me. Oh, brilliant. I'm back at where I started. Okay, well, <laughs> that, that was good while it lasted, I suppose. Oh, yeah, we can get some... Okay, cool. I'm going to run up here because I'm scared of the, the little, little dudes down there, so... Yeah, let's run up here. I'll go over a couple more of the mods, and then we might call it an episode. Or I'll call it a day, because this isn't an episode. There we are. So, yeah, uh, I, I like the look of this one, Zombie Extreme. It's weird that this isn't in order. I kind of would like to put this in order. If anyone knows how to do that, let me know. Okay, doesn't look like there's any way that I can figure out, at least, of going through this. So, main things in this pack. We've got... Uh, Project E, which is equivalent exchange, basically, from back in the day. We've got the mini utilities, which is a little bit like extra utilities, from what I can gather. Uh, we've got a load of, like, different mob, like, additions, let's say. Additions, yeah. So, uh, Alex's mobs are in this, like, what the heck is that thing over there? Let's have a look. Is that an ant? That is a leaf cutter ant, I believe. Leaf cutter ant. Yes, yeah, from Alex's mods. Mobs. Sorry, I always say mods instead of mobs. Uh, so, palm shrub. Interesting. We've got the uh, regions unexplored, which is a bit like uh, biomes of plenty or oh, the biomes you'll go. Uh, what else have we got? We've got chance cubes. So if you uh, are feeling lucky, you can break a couple of chance cubes. We actually only got one bad one out of like the 50 that we... <laughs> not 50, we did like 10, didn't we? But one bad one out of that is... It's not bad, actually. This is pretty good, in my opinion. Oh, there's a thingy over here. Let's, uh, let's have a look in there. So... Oh, is it another chance cube? Wow, that was a lot of stuff. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're going to go to the other one that I saw just down here. That one. Let's go to that one, if we can get there. So, yeah, this pack is for those that are maybe getting a little burnt with all the mods 9. Uh, personally, I think one of the packs that you should be playing if you're burnt with all the mods 9 is No Frills. Because, uh, I don't know, No Frills, it, it just feels like a different pack because you don't have to do as much. So it's kind of more of a realistic goal 
But we're not here to talk about that. We'll talk about uh, more the odds. Uh, so this pack is available on Curseforge. Is it going to give us the same? Ooh, sword. Lucky sword. Very fast. Oh, I like it. What is that right there? Lead ore. Interesting. But yeah, this has got like a, a bunch of different sort of uh, mods in it, which are completely different to uh, anything in All the Mods 9. So, as I said, this is from the All the Mods team. I'm not exactly sure who it is. Ah, okay, so it's DJ. DJ is the one that. Uh, so it's DJ N I F O S. I don't know how you say how you're supposed to say that. So I apologise. But yeah, DJ is uh, the one that is like the head of this. Just like the Vortex was the head of uh, the Gravitas. But yeah, there's there's tons of different mods in this that I I'm kind of trying to encourage everyone to. Uh, Go and check it out for themselves because it's it's very decent. I think there's tin right there. There's it's really difficult to find iron. I should probably go get my um get my grave. There is a grave mod in this, I believe. So we should probably go have a look at that. But there's also some sheepies right there. So sorry, sheepies. Oh my goodness, they ragdoll when they die. Flipping heck! What happened there? Oh, cobwebs. Okay, well that gets us all of the wool that we need. That was an interesting thing right there. And just a regular sheep. There we go. Right, anyway, where did we where did we mine in? I think we had to go all the way around, didn't we? In fact, before we do anything. Eh. What? It just set it on fire. Oh, because it's lucky. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna have your coconut. Come back here. Haha. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, um, we're gonna go back to our stuff, but on the way there, I'll probably uh, just try and think of other things that are in this pack, which you guys might find interesting. So, as I said, it's basically all of the alternative mods. I really like this mod, the one that has all the quests. So, we might have a look into that. As we uh, as we run away bravely, bravely run away. That's the one that that was um, having a go earlier. So definitely have a go at this one. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was kind of funny. Come here, come here. It just lightnings. What? Okay. Oh my giddy aunt! Look at that. What the heck is that thing? Is that the thing that was making all the noise before? Where's my sword gone? Because... Eh, eh. Expl oh my goodness. Oh, that... Yeah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Right, we're, we're going to ignore that now. Um, I'm going to go into <laughs> creative real quick. Right, there we go. I, I've flown over here, and now I can't fly again for some reason, even though I'm in creative. Oh, I've got all of my stuff in here. I didn't realise about that. Oh, that would have been good to know earlier. <laughs> the acknowledgement apparently this has got. So you can you can slap people with the book. <laughs> I love it. That's so funny. Right. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to wrap up here, I think, because uh, there's no way we're going to our, our death pile. And uh, we've been recording for a little bit. So, yeah, if, uh, if you're... Getting a bit burnt with all the mods, or you just wanted to play something different, then uh, yeah, more the odds, more the odds is out there for you. So have a have a gander. I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can always search up more the odds in uh, in CurseForge, and you should be able to find it. It, it looks like quite a fun little pack. Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing a server for this in the Popo server project, just because. All the randomness and stuff, right? It's it might take a little bit of a toll. So, oh yeah, there's this button as well. If you press Z, you can crawl around on the floor. It does make your map a lot bigger. So you might you might want to, um, I don't know, uh, <laughs> do something about that. But let's uh, if we do this, press Z, we get on the floor, and we can wander about like that. It's just, 
very weird looking, right? But <laughs> what am I doing? That's so weird. Brilliant. Right. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.